Three, two, one, go! All right. Sorry for the shoddy camera work, people. I'm, I'm running on the fly. Yep, we are good to go. Okay, folks, this is heat three of the medley. It looks like we've got... Um, no, excuse me, I'm sorry. This is heat two of the medley. Hard to believe I've lost track of things because I haven't even started drinking yet, unlike most of the other people here. Okay, we got Josh Everett, Andrew Tucker, and Chris Ramsey here. Derek already mentioned to a lot of you, uh, you know, you're looking at that barbell these guys are lifting right now, and you're thinking, that looks a little bit thicker than a regular circumference barbell at my gym, and that's because it is. Uh, how does that uh, thickness of the bar, Derek, in your opinion, make this event more difficult? It's a lot more work on the forearms. People people uh, get used to doing a clean on an Olympic bar. That axle will tear up a grip. It'll tear up a forearm like you wouldn't believe. There's no good way to turn under it. It's awkward. It's harder to hold on to. It just makes the whole lift a bigger pain than it ought to be. So on top of all the strength that needs to come from the legs and the shoulders and the lower back, to be able to complete this event and the conditioning and the technique and all of the above grip strength is obviously a main one too would you say oh yeah it's a it's a big one and you, and if you're not used to using an axle you're going to have to improvise real fast because it's going to feel it, you can't finesse the bar anymore it's got to be an active strength looks like josh everett is uh leading in this race andrew tucker is uh coming up with his carry chris ramsey doing the same thing yeah, and if you can tell the guys that have done implement carries before, they'll have less side-to-side -side motion. The guys who have big looping steps and they're swinging that pendulum back and forth, that's somebody who hasn't probably worked with the implement before, and that's going to cost them. Yeah, keeping that uh, keeping that weight kind of immobilized as much as possible is uh, pretty important to be able to get a good time. Some of you may notice that the... Uh, what looks to be a 45 pounder they've got on there has a green has an orange stripe on it. That is not a 45. That's a 60. That's a gorilla plate right there. Yeah, the company that uh, provides the equipment for Kong Fest is uh, High Temp Barbells in Tuscumbia, Alabama, and uh, they provide, as I said, a lot of the equipment. Repeating myself, but yeah, their signature plate is that big one that you see that Derek just mentioned with the orange stripe. That is what they call their gorilla plate. It is a 55-pound plate, in other words, 25-kilogram plate. So those of you from the Olympic lifting world, that's basically the same as a red. And uh, so, yeah, we're talking more than a 45, so 20 pounds extra on that bar. Very nice, repping those out. Once you get that axle up on the shoulder, you want to break, you want to blow out those overhead presses without setting it down as much as you can because yeah, cleaning absolutely. that axle will just take the energy right out of you. It's like Ramsey is uh, making short work of the D-balls and coming back down here for his next round with the axle. Josh Everett flying down the floor. Looks like Andrew Tucker is still negotiating that D-ball down at the far end. These athletes have already done a couple of real big events in short succession, and they're still turning out way impressive power output for this uh, for this medley. Yeah, if you think about it, all those of you who are watching this, you're watching the difficulty of this event and the strain and the physical toll that it takes on you. And then you remember, this is basically the fourth thing these guys have done today. They started out with a snatch ladder, which is a maximum snatch workout, followed by a heavy stone-loading, 300-pound strongman loading event, followed by Kong, which is just a just a slaughterhouse of a workout. Yeah. And now they've got to do this just to complete it. I mean, mo most people could spend weeks just training to do King Kong. 
And these guys have done it in the middle of a competition. Absolutely unreal. It looks like Josh Everett has finished his day. He's down there exactly where he should be on the ground, getting some rest, and it looks like Chris Ramsey just finished up. And I believe Andrew Tucker is just about to end his day at Kong Fest. Fine work for those three. Or are they not done? My mistake, sports fans. I thought everybody was finished. Looks like Chris Ramsey and Andrew Tucker still have D-balls, which probably means another round. See, the fun never stops at Kong Holy cow. Guess I overstated the case there. Josh Everett obviously blew this thing away. I thought all three of those guys were finishing at the same time, but in the middle of us being here running our mouth, we managed to uh, lose track of this uh, little contest we've got going on here. So fighting to finish, these guys are. I, I frankly don't know how these guys have anything left after today. This is just this is just something you'd spend days recovering from, unless you were, you know, conditioned like these guys are. They've still got about 30 seconds on the clock. Let's see what they can do with it. See right here, you got one athlete cheering on another. Come on, let's see if he can finish up. Andrew Tucker trying to finish up his day here. Working hard to get his reps done. That one looked good. You got one more. And, oh, and that no was rep. a no rep, which means he has to complete that one again, if you can believe that. And that's going to wrap it up for this heat. And it looks like that was the uh, time cap. Seven minutes, people, uh, just passed. It looks like that is our cap for time on this. And as you can see, a lot of guys are just fighting hard to finish this thing. Next heat coming up is going to be Andrew Cefeli, DeMarco Snow, Frank Brooks, and Sam Leahy.